My name is Avi Haddad. I'm a flooring contractor in the Bay Area, California. I've been doing floors for about 20 years. I do a lot of woodworking and inlay work as a passion. And I have a lot of experience in marketry and scroll work. When this machine came out, when I actually saw it in action, I started thinking how to utilize this in my work. So most of the stuff here was done with scroll work and table saws and traditional cutting techniques. But when it came to the little inserts and inlays that I wanted to put in here, that machine is actually pretty sweet. I like how it's saving me a lot of time in making repetitive cuts. It's clean, like the dust collection on it is awesome. Which with a plunge router that I have, a couple of heavy duty ones, if you attach the, the vacuum, you can't really see the router bit. You can't see where you're working with this. I have the screen. My wife told me, I was, she was watching me when I was cutting. She said, you were doing a really good job focusing on the screen because you usually don't look at the screen. Even in the camera, I'm backing up in, the, in her car. I'm like, I never look at the screen. I look at the mirrors. So far, I've made a handful of, I call them cookies every time I make little inlays like that. And they're all the same. And then we had to make a jig to cut the negative in the floor or the void of the cavity. I liked how you guys taught me how to make this because it's all it is, just a piece of plywood with some tape on it so the machine can read it. And you got that big hole in there, just enough with four points so you can line it up with the, with the points on the floor. And the router is really just cutting right there. So again, it was just placing the machine on the jig and clicking it and it just, it routes it. That's it. Years ago, I started volunteering as an instructor with the NWFA teaching schools and Recent years, I'm, I'm more focused on instructing the master craftsman school, which is the higher level techniques. One of the techniques that I like inlay is just putting in really free forms. And the use of palm carving tools or uh, dental tools really, really help with that kind of inlay work, which seemed to me that it goes hand in hand with that machine so far. I really like how it does most of the, the bulk of the work. And then I go in with my little tools so there is still that human touch and I'm certainly not gonna go, I'm not gonna buy this tool because it doesn't stick to my old school traditional cutting techniques that I'm used to. I'm really all about what do I want the floor to look like in the end and how can I achieve that. Nothing is absolute, this has pros and cons. My traditional techniques have the pros and cons, but you know, it's a balance. So I think for my arsenal of tools, that is an awesome addition. I'm really not looking at, at this as buying a router. It's really buying the software and the all the stuff that comes with it. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. You gotta really try it. To appreciate a tool like that, you have to already be understanding the marketry and the inlay work. You gotta really know what you're talking about to take this tool and take it to the next level. The tools don't make the craftsman. Craftsman makes a tool. So I can make all that with my hand tools and my scroll saw. And people know me in the industry, I've done this for years. But this is a cool way of saving me time. And I'm not getting any younger. And I don't like spending time on repetitive cuts.